Hey all, welcome to this week's top 10 here at the CIO PCC. Oh, uh, I should just turn outside once in a while. Instead of always just looking at Mike and Sully there at the beginning. Now I'm doing a top 10 here today that I did as a top 10 list several years ago at my website, mwctoys.com. Uh, this is the Palisades Muppets line. This line, I'm talking about the main figures, not the Megas, not the Minis. I'm talking about the regular line. And one of the great things about this line is that uh, no character got a bad figure. It's not like the quality of these are the 10 best. These, so what happens is when you pick 10 best, it's your 10 favorite. And it's usually heavily influenced by the character themselves. My number 10, and yes, I'm doing these in order today, is Super Beaker. Uh, I love the concept. I didn't give this guy a great review when he was when I got him, but over time he grew on me, and I just love the goofy superhero concept for Beaker. Next up, I have a number of uh, creator figures. I have George Lucas. I have Quentin Tarantino. Uh, but none of them are quite as good as the Jim Henson produced by Palisades. This is a wonderful figure. Everybody recognizes it immediately. And of course, it's done perfectly. Just a great looking, fun figure. Now, we're going to go around to the other side. You're going to get dizzy for a little while here. And we're going to talk about Rolf. Now, they did Rolf several ways. I know that people were a little disappointed that the main way they came out was in the tuxedo. I also am in the white tuxedo. But it's really the one that came with the playset where he's not wearing any costume at all. That's the one that's my favorite. Nice classic look for Rolf. Because he came with the playset, uh, he's a little harder to get these days, but he is easily the best out version. Now the next one, number seven, counting down, is a, really a cheat. It's Statler and Waldorf. It's two figures in one. Uh, they did ship separately. They were on their own cards. So it's kind of a cheat, but come on. You can't have Statler without Waldorf. Who could pick one of them over the other? I like a lot of the goofy characters, which is, you know, when you're talking Muppets, don't know how you differentiate that. But Pepe is an example of one of the kind of funny, goofy characters that I love. And they did a number of variations on this figure. Um, smaller figures, they tended to do a lot of variations on. It was easier due to their scale. And he's uh, easily in the top 10, coming in as spot number six. Spot number five is another character with a number of variations three actually and it's uncle deadly i would uh, pick the black and white the grayscale version is my favorite because he does remind me the most of like the old uh, universal monsters in that color scheme another small character that got lots of variations thanks to his size is rizzo the rat now, they did them a bunch of different ways. Like I said, there's Christmas versions, and there's they altered the uh, color of the jacket and the, the uh, arms on it to give us different versions. But it's just really any of the Rizzos. They're all great. It's that look on his face, and he's such a funny character. The Rainbow Connection is probably one of the things Kermit is best known for, singing that song in the banjo. Rainbow Connection Kermit was, one of the, was actually the last set of figures produced in the line. Uh, it was produced for the Cooper Perry Foundation. That's the photo to the right there of the little boy. Uh, he died uh, due to complications of meningitis and their parents were good friends with Michael Horn, who's the CEO and uh, president of Palisades. So they produced this set to raise funds for the Cooper Perry Foundation. And uh, it, like I said, it was the last set they did in the line. In 1971, The Frog Prince aired on television I was 10 years old, and I loved it. I particularly loved Sweetums. He was just such a terrific character, so he was, I've got, I, I have him uh, immediately when he came out. A lot of people passed on him. He was obviously more expensive because of the size, and that was a mistake. And number one, bum, 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 Adventure Kermit. Combining two of my favorite licenses, Muppets and Indiana Jones. It was a really well-done figure. Um, there are actually two versions. This, uh, you'll notice up here, carded. They're both versions. The other version I actually have loose too. He's over in the Indiana Jones section. So one of them, this is the one with the darker pants colors. And the uh, idol is also slightly different. It's a more of a brassy, uh, gloss finish, uh, 
uh, look to it. The other version has lighter colored pants and the idle itself is much darker and more matte. But there you have it. Those are my 10 favorites in the uh, Palisades Muppets line. Let me know what your 10 are. Make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you in a couple days.